What is happening guys? Cowboy here, and today I'm going to bring you a quick video on farming up the endgame materials you need to finish upgrading your prosthetic tools. Now spoiler warning, as everything that we're going to be discussing in this video is post-game, as in after we have beaten the game, so if you haven't reached that point, I would suggest turning away because quite a few things are going to get spoiled. But jumping on into it, as we go on over to the Sculptor's Idol, there are three main things you're going to need to finish upgrading. You're going to need lumps of grave wax, you're going to need fulminated mercury, and you're going to need lapis lazuli. Now, as far as we know right now, there are only six Lapis Lazuli confirmed in the game per playthrough, and at that, you can only gain access to them if you've gone to the Fountainhead Palace. You can buy two off of the Carp Merchants, you get one for completing the quest line where you kill the Great Carp, you get one from the Shichiman Warrior in Fountainhead Palace, and then you get two from defeating the Demon of Hatred. Uh, once you reach Endgame, you'll get your initial six, and you're going to need at least four more. So as for going into New Game Plus, I would suggest taking out the Shichiman Warrior, buying the two from the Carp Merchants, and then of course doing the Carp Quest line. That way you don't have to tackle Demon of Hatred again. Now the first thing you're going to want before you begin farming is the Bell Demon buff. This is going to make enemies harder, but also increase their drops. So if you haven't found the Bell Demon yet from the Shugendo Idol, I'm going to leap up, leap up. Now you can get to this uh, two separate ways. This way is a little bit easier, uh, mainly because you can go down there and leap across, but I find that trying to go down that way, there tends to be a, a frame dip as you're jumping across, which makes it a little bit tricky to hit. So instead, we're going to go up here, just like we're heading to the Armored Warrior. Run up this way to where you got the Red and White Pinwheel. An apparition enemy should spawn. If you grab the Red and White Pinwheel, don't worry about him. Instead, just jump. And then you can see those ledges where you're just going to hit either X or square. Grab that ledge. Climb on over this way. Do a multi-hop. Now that you're all the way up top. Jump on up again. On up. Go this way. And here we are at the bell. So once you're here, go ahead and ring the bell, get that buff. As I mentioned, you'll see it down in the lower left-hand corner. You want to use this anytime you're farming, and then anytime that you uh, you don't want the buff anymore, you simply go here, use the item, and that will remove it. Now for our very first farming spot, we're going to start from the Flower Viewing Stage Idol in the Fountainhead Palace. A couple things before you get started with farming. If you have Temple Arts, pick up both Virtuous Deed and then Most Virtuous Deed. And then on top of that, before you begin your farm, if you really want to maximize your returns, pop a Mibu Balloon of Wealth and a Mibu Possession Balloon. The Possession Balloon in particular is going to help with the item drop rate, but you're going to be getting a fair amount of gold here as well, so you might as well pop a Balloon of Wealth. And between the two passive buffs we get from the Temple Arch Tree, the Possession Balloon, and the Bell Demon, you have the best drop rate possible in the game. Go ahead and kill this one guy. Kill this guy. Then just go up and hit this guy, and Sabimaru will pretty much dispatch him all on its own. As you can see, he gets poisoned pretty fast, and then from there you're able to just kind of, uh, you know, aggressively put him into a corner and kill him. And you'll get a couple things here. Uh, you, you can get Lump of Grave Wax off these guys. You can also get uh, Scrap Magnetite, regular Fat Wax, uh, as you saw there, maybe Balloon of Soul. As a very, very baseline drop, uh, bare minimum, you have a pretty good chance of pulling in a pellet. So, all in all, a really, really decent farming spot to get some of those mats that you're going to need. Every now and then you'll see this enemy do a, uh, a jump up lightning attack. Of course, this is also excellent practice for getting off your lightning counter. A little too far there.
There we go. Two lumps of grave wax. Uh, if for some reason you're having trouble with this, alternatively, you could also go over to the uh, feeding grounds idol just to show another one of these guys. Um, I like this spot in particular because we're getting grave wax and we're getting regular fat wax from it, which I think makes it a little bit better. Plus, we just got to fight one guy. But from here, you could just jump across, run over to this guy, and get an easy backstab. It's essentially the same enemy we were just fighting. Um, so if you're only interested in farming them, you can also just go to this guy. But like I said, we're getting a couple of other upgrade mats by killing the nobles over there as well. And for our second farm point, we're going to start from the outskirts wall stairway idol. You can only do this after you have the divine dragon tears and the castles being attacked. But anyway, once you reach this idol, go ahead and hop right up here. Jump and death blow this guy. Drop down. Kill this guy. here and kill this guy. The last one we want is the gunner. You don't got to worry about the swordsman at all. Gunner in particular, though, definitely worth getting. He has a higher drop rate, it seems. Uh, and all in all, this isn't a bad farm. As a very, very base drop, uh, you have a chance to get oil off these guys. Uh, as for some other drops, you can get the ministry dousing powder, which is just more effective version of dousing powder, uh, yellow gum powder, and then, of course, fulminating mercury as well. So, between this and your other spot, your other spot is going to be great for the fat wax and the grave wax. Uh, this one is going to be great for the uh, yellow gunpowder as well as the fulminating mercury. And then, of course, you can get uh, adamantite scrap as well off uh, you know, the enemies back in the other area. So just between these two spots, you'll have more than enough opportunities to grab pretty much all of the end game materials you need. Uh, you can even get stuff like scrap magnetite back at the other the other mobs. So. All in all, uh, just two spots that work very, very effectively for getting your farm. I would say in general, I spent probably about 30 minutes total just running these routes. Um, like 15 minutes at the last one, 15 minutes at this one. And by the time I was done with that, I had more than enough materials to update my stuff. Uh, the last thing, once again, just to mention the Lapis Azuli. I don't think it's possible to farm it. Uh, I'm, I'm almost positive that the person that made the comment that you could get it from farming the Okami Warriors... I think it's bullshit. You know, I don't know if it's someone trying to troll the community or what the case is, but I spent probably about two hours farming uh, with all these buffs active, never saw Lapis Lazuli. So if the Lapis Lazuli does in fact drop from farming, it is an extremely drop, or <laughs> extremely drop low, an extremely low drop rate. We're talking in the range of like sub 1%. Um, so to that extent, I mean, honestly, you could, you could just play through New Game Plus faster doing a boss rush versus the drop you would need to get the four laps of to finish all your upgrades. So, anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this one. Um, hopefully this farm helps you finish getting your prosthetic tool upgrades. I will say, uh, New Game Plus with all the prosthetic tools is a lot more fun than just the regular baseline game. You know, you, you really start to feel like a badass when you have everything at your disposal. So, anyway, that's going to wrap up this one. Thanks for coming on by. I'll see you guys soon enough. Sekiro, New Game Plus run.